So hello again my friends. I hope you're all keeping well. I hope you've enjoyed some of the yoga taster sessions that we've done together. And today is the third in this series of taster sessions. Short time to spend together. Today I thought we might focus a little bit on spinal rotation, on twisting movements, and a little bit of core strength. All of these things, spinal twists, core strength, help to give your spine more flexibility, more strength, more mobility. So again, just a reminder to say to you that if you're not used to doing yoga or you're doing it for just a short while, that listening to your body, listening to your breath, breath is always the guide, the anchor, the return to when you're not sure whether something is good or not so good for you. So we're going to begin just like the last time from lying down and some of the movements as we kind of spend more time together they'll be a little bit repetitive and you'll have come across them before but you'll be coming familiar you'll, you sorry you'll be becoming more familiar with them and your body getting more used to them and so you'll be able to carry them through uh, a little more easily than maybe you did last week or the week before and next week of course and the time after that will be different too so let's begin so just settling yourself down onto the floor first. Having said that, uh, it might be useful to, for you to have a belt. Um, I have a yoga belt, but you may not have a yoga belt if you don't. Uh, the belt off a dressing gown is perfectly fine. The belt off your jeans is also perfectly fine. Just can be useful. We're going to do a little bit of leg raising today uh, and it's just useful to have a belt to help with that. So maybe before you start, just see if you have a belt at hand and then when you're ready we'll lie down on the floor and just have a stretch out and just kind of tune in to where the body is at today really important as a benchmark to see how your body is today how your physical body is feeling how's your mental body where is your headspace and what about your breath breath as i say earlier as i said earlier is the anchor always the guiding light as to whatever you're doing, whether it's yoga or anything else, it's always a good measure of how you really feel. So settling down on the ground, stretching out, and just stretching out the legs, stretching the arms up and back beyond the head, interlacing the fingers if you can, and then just extending the palms away from you and extending the heels away from you. And let's just take a couple of breaths here, just really again enjoying that feeling of stretching out, really lengthening your body, stretching away into the heels, into the palms of your hands, and then just relax the arms back down by your sides, bend your knees, and then bring the knees in over the chest. So again, we would have done this the last day and you'll be a little familiar with it. So you just rock gently from side to side, just easing out your back, opening up the back of your hips a little bit, feeling the back of your waist connect with the ground. And then when you're ready, you're gonna stand the two feet down onto the floor. And this is now where we might need the belt if you have it handy. So you're gonna use your belt now and we're gonna do some leg raises. And this is a really good way of stretching out the hamstrings and stretching out the hamstrings, engaging your core muscles in your abdomen will help to stretch and strengthen your back. So let's bend one knee in over the chest and we'll take the belt just to the sole of the foot, around the middle of the foot. And then we'll see if we can just extend the leg up into the air, just as fully as you can. And even though my leg happens to be straight, you may well need to bend your knee quite a bit or maybe just a little, depending on how your hamstrings are. So again, you've got to listen to your body. So we're gonna stretch the heel away, not so much pull on the belt, not a good idea to pull on the belt. You're just really using the belt as a guide. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just holding the strands of the belt in one hand. And we're going to take a couple of breaths now, just encouraging the back of the knee to open just within what's easy for you. So we'll take that for a few breaths. And then what you might like to try is keeping hold of your belt in one hand. Uh, particularly same leg, same arm, we're going to open the leg out to the side. And again, this is all dependent on how your hip is. 
So out to the side, I'm using my left leg at the moment, but obviously you'll be doing both legs, one in turn after the other. And then extending that leg just out to where you can, but aiming to keep the opposite hip down on the floor. So again, we'll take that for a breath or two, and then bring that leg back to the middle, <clears throat> and then we'll take that leg to the opposite side. So as you take what is my left leg over to my right, the intention is still to keep the back of both hips on the floor as much as you can. So you're gonna really feel this right up in your hamstrings, right up in your buttock muscles, right up into your sciatic nerve. So when you've taken a breath or two there, we'll bring that leg back to the middle and we'll bend the knee, slip off the belt, stand the foot down on the floor. And then we're gonna do that through on the opposite side. So bending the opposite knee in towards your chest, slipping the belt around the sole of your foot and just extending the leg up again, just to where you can, where you feel is easy and comfortable for your body. And stretching the heel away, you decide how much bend you'd like to have on that knee. You might need none, you might need lots. So again, listening to your body, let your breath be your guide. So again, we'll take just a breath or two while we extend the heel towards the ceiling and point the toes towards the face. And when you've taken a breath or two there, then we'll open that leg out to the side. And again, the intention is, while you open the leg out to the side, to keep the back of your hips level on the ground. So we'll take that for a breath or two, and then slowly bring that leg to the middle and we'll swap the hand hold on the belt. And then we'll take that, what is now my right leg, over to my left, keeping the back of both hips on the floor just as much as you can and again you're going to feel it right up into your buttock muscles there. Quite a nice stretch. So when you're ready then we'll bring that knee back to the middle and slowly release the belt and the foot and then of course we're going to do both legs together. So we'll take both knees in over the chest and then slip the belt over your two feet if you can just across the breadth of your feet and then we'll take both legs up and as you take both legs up, your intention is to flex your feet so that your toes are pointing down towards your face and your heels are stretching upwards towards the ceiling. And again, you can have a little bend, a deep bend, no bend at all in your knees, depending on what you need. So let's take a couple of breaths. And again, you're just observing what's going on for you, aware of your back, aware of your abdomen, conscious that every time you breathe out your abdomen softens back towards the floor. So then when you've taken a couple of breaths there we we'll lower the two feet down to the floor. Now we'll just lose the belt altogether for the time being. Just leave it over to the side and we'll stand the two feet down. So just to begin our twisting movements now we're going to stay on the floor for them for the time being anyway and we're going to keep the feet together the inner parts of the knees together and then just like the windscreen wipers on your car relax your arms by your sides and then just roll your legs very gently from one side to the other and it's really nice if you can do this with the flow of your own breathing so as you inhale you bring the knees to the middle as you exhale you lower the knees to one side and you're going to do this with your own breathing just maybe twice or three times to either side and then just come back to the middle whenever you're ready. And then we'll take that a little bit further, a little bit deeper into the spine. So you keep the feet together and let's bend the knees up towards the chest. And again, that same kind of windscreen wiper action, slowly lowering the knees over to one side. And then inhaling as you come back to the middle, exhaling as you lower the knees over to the opposite side. And inhaling as you come back to the middle. And you're going to do this a couple of times to either side. And just as you do continue to do it, just to bear in mind that you keep your shoulders as near to the ground as you can. So just watch one more time, knees up over the chest, arms away, shoulders down, lower the knees over to one side as you exhale. And then inhale as you come back to the middle and exhale, lower your knees over to the other side. And inhale as you come back to the middle and stand the two feet down on the floor. Now we can take that a little bit further still and I'll show you to my left so that you can see it easily enough. So we're gonna roll the two knees over to my left and we're gonna keep the under knee, the knee that's underneath on the floor and then we're gonna straighten out 
the upper knee and see if we can straighten the leg all together and then turn your head in the opposite direction and you're going to feel that nice openness down along which is my right side but you're going to feel that openness through your ribs through your chest down the open side of your body as you breathe in and out here and then we'll slowly come back and out of that back to our center again and we'll do that on the opposite side so lowering the knees to the opposite side and here you can see the openness through the ribs through the chest down along the waist into the back of that hip and then we keep the underneath knee on the floor and if you have the space we're going to extend the upper leg out straight just as far as you can keeping both shoulders in contact with the ground, arms away from your sides, and then your head is moving in the opposite direction to your outstretched leg. And then slowly coming back to the middle. And then of course you can do a little bit further still, and we can take that twist then to each side with the legs straight. So we keep the knees bent initially to go to the side. And then once you have the legs moved to the side, arms away from your body, will extend both legs out straight if that's appropriate for you. And again, when you've taken a breath or two here, slowly bend in the knees, rolling back to the middle, and then repeating the same twist on the opposite side just to create balance. And then when you've taken a moment there, we'll then eventually come back to the center bringing the knees up over the chest, hugging the legs nice and close, and then just having a little rock from side to side. Feeling the back of your waist pressing down into the ground. So then to go forward from here, standing the feet down, and again, we stretch out the legs. So as you stretch out the legs, keep them straight, flexing the feet. So on your exhale, we're going to lift the head and the right leg up just a small distance off the floor and then slowly release the head and the leg and let's do that on the other side exhaling lifting the head and the opposite leg just to where you can and then lower yourself down now, as you continue to do this I really want you to focus your attention on your exhales that you're moving with your out breath so that you're engaging the muscles of your tummy which is helping to strengthen your back. So legs and tummy working together to strengthen your back. So then when you've done it on each side a couple of times, then you're going to see if you can lift the two legs together. Now that might be too much for some people. And if it is, you just continue to repeat just one single leg at a time. But if you are anxious to try lifting the two legs, again, you use your breath out and you take a deep breath in first flexing the feet and on the breath out you lift your head and your two legs up from the floor and then slowly easing back down so we'll just do that one more time strong enough on your abdominals if you're not used to it but again you can build up that strength so deep breath in and on the out breath lifting head and legs about the same distance off the floor before releasing back down and again, just take a second, knees up over the chest, hugging the legs close and rocking a little bit from side to side. So let's come round and up now from the floor to a more upright position. So still focusing a little bit on twisting, we're going to come up to kneeling and depending on how your knees are, you might feel that you have a need for some support under your knees. So if you do have need of support, you can use um, a very thin cushion. You can use a yoga block. I happen to have a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, a folded up blanket or a small towel is perfectly fine just to give you some padding underneath your knee or knees. So as you come up to kneeling, I'm going to kneel my left knee onto the block and I'm going to step forward with my right foot. So stepping forward with my right foot and just allowing the trunk to be upright just for a moment. So we're going to inhale and bring the hands together into prayer position and exhale where we are and on the inhale lift the arms up 
and exhale and fold forward and down over that front thigh. As you come down over the front thigh, we're going to inhale and slowly lift the right arm out and up and gently bring it back down. And one more time, inhale, lift the right arm out and up and gently bring it back down. And then we're going to inhale and lift the arms up and overhead back to our starting position and releasing that knee down to the floor and then we'll swap sides. So as you swap sides, you're kneeling onto the opposite knee, stepping forward with the other foot this time, allowing the trunk to be upright, palms together in prayer position. Inhaling, lifting the arms up, exhaling, folding forward and down over that front leg. As you inhale, we're going to see if we can extend the left arm out and up, and on the exhale, lower the hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm out and up. Exhale, lower it down. Good. And then slowly ease your way back and come onto all fours. So when we come onto all fours, we're literally just going to repeat that same twist from all fours. So this is called threading the needle. And the way it works is we extend one arm out and up, just exactly like before. And then we're going to literally thread our needle, slide our arm underneath the opposite arm, leaving the hips up, taking the head down. So once more with that, inhaling, extending the right arm out and up, exhaling, sliding the arm underneath the opposite one, leaving the hips up, taking the head down, then gently coming back to all fours. And then we're going to do that on the opposite side. So inhaling now, lifting the left arm out and up just to where you can, and then sliding that left arm underneath the right arm, head down, hips up, and then once again for you, lifting the left arm out and up, that's it, and then slowly draw that left arm, threading the needle underneath the right arm, leaving the hips up in the air, bringing the head down as near to the floor as you can, aiming to get your shoulder as near to the ground as possible. So then when you've done that, you come back onto your all fours, and let's sway the hips a little bit from side to side. <clears throat> and when you have swayed the hips a few times from side to side, then just see if you can circle the hips, taking your weight all the way forward towards your hands and taking the weight all the way back towards your feet and doing that in the opposite direction too. Good. And then taking your time back to your all fours position. Let's see if we can tuck the toes underneath now. Let's give our back a nice stretch by pressing actively into the hands, into the feet, lifting your knees off the floor a little bit and then sending your hips up into the air as high as you can. We were doing this the last day in our sequences. Sending the hips up as high as you can, allowing your head to hang down, allowing your neck to release. So let's just take that for a breath and then slowly release your knees back down to the floor. Release your feet, sit your bottom back towards your heels for a second and curl down. You stay there just as long as you wish, paying attention to your breath. So when you are ready then, we're going to sit. So take your, take your time getting back up to the sitting position and we'll sit first of all with the legs stretched out in front and the feet flexed and just to get that sense of sitting upright I'm just going to turn back around again so that you can see the uprightness of the spine so we're looking to lengthen the spine just as much as you can releasing the shoulder blades down your back and thinking of the crown of your head parallel with the ceiling so again as you breathe here You've got all this freedom in the front of your body so that you can breathe freely and easily. So when you're ready, we're going to cross the legs and you're going to cross your legs just as easily and as gently as you can. For some people who have nice, open, flexible hips, they'll be able to bring their feet right into the groin. But for some people, and maybe most of us, we might find that we have to keep the feet quite a distance in front 
just so that we have the space here to sit up straight. So as you continue to sit up straight, we're going to twist. So we'll inhale, I'm going to travel to my left side, but you might be traveling to the right, but you're gonna do both sides anyway. So we're gonna lift the arms up, and on an exhale, we're gonna turn the body round just as far as we can, taking one hand to the opposite knee and the other hand around behind. And we're gonna see if we can sit up as tall as we can, aiming to keep the chest as open as possible and releasing the shoulders down towards the back of the waist. And then we we'll inhale and lift the arms up and slowly come back to the middle. And then we'll turn in the opposite direction bringing the opposite hand round behind, sitting up as tall as you can, releasing your shoulder blades down your back so that again, you're keeping that nice openness in your chest. So then we'll inhale and lift the arms up and slowly come back to the middle and then release the hands down. We're gonna keep the sitting position, but we'll change the leg position. So stretching, for me, it's my left leg out in front and then we're gonna step the right foot across the left leg and just place the hand on the opposite shin bone. So it's kind of opposites to opposites. So on my side, it's left hand to right leg, left leg straight, sitting up straight as tall as you can. And then we're gonna inhale and lift what is my right arm, but maybe your left, turn the body round, away from that bent knee, broaden the chest, Relax the shoulders, lengthen the neck, close your eyes, and just take a breath or two. And then we'll take our time and slowly come back to where we began, coming to the middle. We're gonna swap the hand hold over and create a twist, a more open twist. So right hand to right leg this time for me. And again, if you're working the same way, it's the same for you, but it might be opposite. So sitting up as tall as possible, we extend left arm up and round and behind. And now we have this nice open twist where the belly is completely free, the ribs are completely free, the chest is wide open, shoulders relaxed, crown of the head parallel with the ceiling. And again, we'll take a breath or two here. So take your time, experience whatever it is you're experiencing within your body, within your breath, within your headspace, and then we'll inhale and lift the arm up and come back to the center. And as we know, to create balance, we've got to do everything on the opposite side. So we'll stretch out the bent leg, and then we'll bend the opposite one, step it across the straight leg now, sit up as tall as we can. We'll do the closed twist first. So for me, I'm going to my left. So as you sit tall, we'll extend the left arm up, turn the belly, turn the ribs, turn the chest, bring the left hand down. Continue to sit up as tall as you can. Relax the shoulders, broaden the chest, breathe away. And again, just be aware of how you're feeling. Inhale, lift that left arm up. Slowly come back to the middle and then we'll create that open twist. So right arm up now, and then opening the belly around to the right, Broaden the chest. Release your hips down into the floor as you lift the chest a little bit more. And then we'll inhale, slowly come back to the middle and extend the leg out in front. Just give the legs a little tap along the ground, a little roll inwards and a roll outwards. And then we'll revert back to crossing the legs. So when you cross the legs and you sit up as tall as you can, again, we're going to twist. So we're inhaling and exhaling where we are just to reestablish that upright position. And then you're just gonna place your left hand on your right knee. And then we're gonna take the right hand around behind the back and continue to sit up tall. And then starting at your navel, you're going to use your exhale to turn your navel towards the right, to turn the ribs towards the right, to turn the chest. Finally, to turn the head. Head is the last bit of you to move. Slowly unwind back to the middle, swap your hand hold over, 
and then once you swap the handhold over sit tall relax your shoulders starting at your navel on your exhale turn the belly turn the ribs turn the chest turn the head it's like a corkscrew turning really the head is the last bit of your body to move and then slowly unwind coming back to the center the benefit of twists or spinal rotations are many uh, from a yoga point of view they really give you energy they decompress your spine they work on your internal organs to give them a what they call an internal massage so they're good for digestive disorders and for elimination and then obviously earlier we were doing a little bit of leg work for core strength so core strength twisting all really really good for your spine in general for keeping your spine really healthy so just to bring this short practice to uh, a warm down or a closure I'm going to continue to sit with my legs crossed you're free to do the same or you can sit on a chair if you prefer with your back straight with your back resting against the backrest and we're just going to do a little bit of focused breathing so I'd invite you to place one hand on your chest and around your heart and then place one hand on your belly around your belly button and then continue to sit up as tall as possible and to close your eyes and when you close your eyes it has that really nice effect of just very gently allowing you to let go of what's going on around you and inviting you to start to move inwards and so as you start to move inwards and you start to experience your breathing and you start to feel your breath in your body you'll feel a natural rise and fall in your abdomen you'll feel a natural rise and fall in your chest if you can keep your mouth closed unless you have a cold or hay fever or something like that where your nose might be blocked in which case you keep your lips slightly parted but otherwise if you can keep your mouth closed and breathe through your nose so as you inhale and exhale your breathing rhythm is your normal day-to-day -day breathing rhythm you're not changing anything you're not making the breath something that it's not you're just allowing your breath to flow freely and as you do while you keep your eyes closed and you really feel the breath moving in your body I want you to imagine breathing in through the left side of your nose and breathing out through the right side just simply that imagine breathing in through the left side of your nose and breathing out through the right side and again breathing in through the left side of your nose and out through the right side and then just very gently with no fuss no effort just change that thought pattern think that when you inhale you're breathing in through the right side of your nose and out through the left side and in through the right side of your nose and out through the left side and once more in through the right and out through the left and then while you continue to sit tall and focus on your breath we'll just put those two thought patterns together so continuing to allow your breath to flow we we'll inhale through the left side of the nose out through the right side in through the right side and out through the left and again think of breathing in through the left side of your nose out through the right side in through the right side and out through the left and just repeat that now maybe twice or three times more just allowing your own breathing to flow freely in through the left out through the right in through the right out through the left in through the left out through the right in through the right out through the left and then just let go of that thought altogether and just breathe gently, 
normally now through both sides of your nose. Imagine this wonderful stream of air flowing right up into the space between your eyebrows before it flows back down again. And just for three breaths, mentally say to yourself, breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. Just sit really quietly in your own space, in your own company, for a few minutes more. Experiencing your breath, experiencing your body, feeling quiet in yourself, feeling peaceful. And then when the time is right, just gently rub your hands together. Cover your eyes and your face and just blink a few times into your hands and then release your hands from your face. So friends, thank you for joining me today. I wish you namaste and enjoy the wonderful weather that we're having these days. Join me next time and we'll have a look in a little more detail at relaxation and breathing practices. But for now, take good care, stay safe, stay well.